Want to drive your opponents crazy? This deck combines Black Widow's card draw denial with Misery's ability to re-trigger that effect, forcing your rivals into tough choices. Let's see how to frustrate your way to victory. Black Widow, of course, puts a Widow's Bite into your opponent's hand, and that also means they can't draw a card. And then also combined with our next card, in Selene, depending on how the game plays out, you can actually turn that Widow's Bite into a negative four. Green Goblin is also impacted by Selene, along with The Hood, who gives you a demon to play. Especially combined with Misery, you can get even more demons. Or you can send The Hood to your opponent's side of the board with Viper. We have Nico for her utility, Grandmaster to re-trigger some of these annoying effects, Daredevil for assistance on turn five, Armor is here in case you don't want to destroy the cards that you end up miserying, or to fight back against destroy decks. Shang-Chi is technically your big power card because he can get rid of, of course, big power on the opponent's side of the board. If we end up using Misery to destroy something like Black Widow, then we can resurrect that with the spiciest add in this deck, Phoenix Force. So you can get Black Widow's effect to trigger three times in a single game, totally frustrating your opponents. If you don't have certain cards in the deck, like Grandmaster or Selene, a very good combo to add to this deck is White Widow and Red Guardian, because Red Guardian can target the Widow's Kiss, I think comes from White Widow. And also, you can use armor for White Widow as well. I also have a Discord for anybody that is interested in joining. A couple of the members of my alliance set it up, so please, I welcome everybody that is interested. The link is in the description of this video. And also, I have an Instagram page. On this page, you can find... Hold on. Is this another sneaky sponsorship? No, 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 no. That's, that's not what this is. But it could be. Over at Nerd Dynamite's Instagram, you'll find only the cleanest and crispiest art of his thumbnails for your screens. I hate your thumbnails. Well, that's because you haven't seen them in full HD glory. They're available in resolutions for both your computer and your phone. What about for my Titan communicator? Unfortunately, we don't support HN Space Tech yet, but hey, follow me and I'll see what I can do about that. Now we're talking. So what are you waiting for? Forget about this video and head on over there now for that sweet, sweet art. Fine. And just like that, back to your regularly scheduled video. Okay, we have a need. One thing I forgot to mention, of course there's nothing for me to do with Collapse Mind. One thing I forgot to mention in the intro is this is probably more of a fun type deck and by fun i mean fun for you and not your opponent <laughs> do not subscribe this channel stinks i will try to get the castle blackstone bonus so i will put daredevil middle and then probably also black widow middle do i go black widow middle or I'm thinking with Grandmaster. Maybe I Black Widow left and Grandmaster left. Oh, I can do the combo. Let us do the combo. So, play Black Widow and then Selene to give them a negative four Widow's Bite. Wind they got rid of it, okay. So we will pop Black Widow mid, or do I throw a Goblin there? I think I will throw a Goblin there. Let's clog up some of their space. Okay, so much for the Grandmaster. Nothing has been destroyed. Phoenix Force, hmm. Ghost Spider and a Dagger. So we will just avoid the dagger. I do I play Phoenix Force? Yeah, because nothing none of my cards are gonna get destroyed. 
So we can have them... We can keep their dagger at zero. And they are cooked! Right? Oh. Well, they would have been cooked. <laughs> hmm. Last turn, I was gonna say, do I just YOLO it? Uh, they retreated. <laughs> I think this game was the power of Daredevil. So we could only get our Black Widow to go off once. I explained why I did the Goblin, I think. They had Aranya down, so they could always move another card middle. So I would rather plug something middle in case they had played middle. And then I could have always grandmastered the Black Widow after the fact. But they pivoted. Clearly this was a Storm Legion lockdown deck. And their Cosmo... Yeah, their Cosmo just ruined anything they would have been able to do. If they play something middle, I can easily flip right. Easily. <laughs> Not easily. But they probably still wouldn't have had enough across these two lanes. So I probably would have played Sean and then Nico over here. This deck is not going to win with a lot of points. It is kind of a junk deck. So you see my low point total, but you also see their low point total. And I think Daredevil was the card that really shined here. I was able to avoid the dagger. Negative four Widow's Bite, just disgusting. And I will take the win. Okay, next up we have Kayer. There is a Viper, Grandmaster, and Green Goblin. We are going up against a Junk deck. <laughs> so, let's see who can Junk who better. Of course, I have the more off-meta version. Viper is nice, but they got, they got a good card for me. Uh, that really complements their game plan, whatever it is. So we will we will ultimately see. Let's get down Daredevil. I am afraid of them junking me and being able to have that knowledge is good. Scar, I can't discount him. And see, even if I have Goblin and I can't play a middle. Ugh. Hmm. Do I debris instead? Because they have they either have a gob my goblin or they have ways to send back my goblin. <laughs> uh let's debris instead. Okay, so they're gonna debris as well. Correct. Uh, I can Viper Grandmaster next turn. Let's go. Hey, this is risky with a uh, junk deck. Is that my goblin? No, not at two. Okay, good. White Widow, who cares? And I'm pretty sure we snap. We definitely snap here. This is this is filthy. This Viper and Grandmaster combo. So they better plug themselves. They have priority. So I could exchange. Oh, even if it's Green Goblin and Grandmaster, that's disgusting. <laughs> I. I'm gonna snap. What is this? Uh, Abomination. And I have Scar. So, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is an easy win. So, I send the Green Goblin here. And then I just play Scar left. Get the armor down here. They can't Hazmat because I'm about to plug them with Crimson Cosmos, so they're just... Yeah, they're just done. They are plugged on two lanes. And I just slam down a 
Scar. If they have Arrow, I guess they beat me. <laughs> but this deck doesn't run Arrow, right? There we go. Daredevil coming in clutch. That is why he is in the deck, especially for me. Daredevil is super important when you are not familiar, super familiar with a deck. And it's a little bit of a risky deck. This is a very risky deck. I have a total of 10 power <laughs> going in to the last turn. So Daredevil allows me, if I don't have a lot of experience with a deck, to clearly mess them up. And that's exactly what happened. So a couple of additions with this deck, you could add a big power card, a Scarworks, a regular Hulk, a Red Hulk, like any big six cost card, uh, Cannonball works. So there are some substitutions you can make in this deck to probably increase its effective effectiveness depending on what matchup you're facing. But as presently constituted, clearly it can be a very effective deck. Okay, next up we have I'm. The name is too long for me to read, I'm sorry. They have a normal deck. I have not been checking this entire gameplay. They in all likelihood have a Bast Agent Venom deck. So plugging them up is probably important. Nothing to do for our early game. One thing I have not highlighted is why Phoenix Force is in the deck, and that is if you, boy, their game plan is executing perfectly. <laughs> so this is a retreat. Black Widow, I might be able to win left with Giganto. And then a Green Goblin somewhere. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, thank you for the card draw. <laughs> Can I draw a... I cannot because I am bricked. So do I just do Viper? I do a Viper. And a Selene. And let's see... Oh, I really want to snap. Do I snap here? That debris really helped me out. I'm gonna snap. I think I have a slight advantage. Because their bishop can't grow... Oh, perfect. <laughs> that is why I snapped. Let's not allow them to feel better. They saw one card, Black Widow, so they know I'm disruption. They know I might be junk. I'm snapping essentially on their debris. But I also don't feel super comfortable about the position I'm in. So this is a can kind of look like a weird snap. I'm not necessarily in the best position. I don't have Daredevil on the board, so I might have to YOLO a Green Goblin. I got Giganto, so I'm pretty sure I can win left. I'm about to restrict how big their Bishop can grow. So I'm pretty sure I win with the Giganto left. I may just end up YOLOing a Green Goblin somewhere. People don't like to get clogged, so they usually leave open a spot. And I felt like with the debris restricting their game plan, and the debris helping my game plan. It is just enough of an advantage to snap on. Okay, next up, we are against Mikasa. Oh, look, somebody that recognized me? I'm, I'm so sorry if, if that's what that was, uh, because... <laughs> I'm so sorry if you're watching this. My deck, uh, I, I'm just sorry. <laughs> Okay, you have a destroy deck. So, uh, ooh, Castle Blackstone. Well, I have the bonus, so I can actually play them both. So that's what I'm gonna do. I, oh, no, 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 no. I play the Selene first. I play the Selene first because I have the bonus and into armor against destroy. That's exactly why armor is in this deck. Let's fight back against destroy. Let's deny them their destruction. Let's deny them their Deadpool game plan. Now, I wish I could kind of play the Green Goblin middle, but it's a destroy deck, so can't do it. We get a Kyera. 
And also with the Destroy deck, the Black Widow becomes a little uh, not great. So it becomes actually a turn five play. Then maybe they could destroy it on the last turn, but maybe not. The Killmonger? Okay. So we are clear with our one drops. I would love to be able to plug up middle. They do have a bunch of extra energy. I could get the Daredevil down now. I could get the Black Widow down. Do I get the Daredevil down? Let's get the Daredevil down and maybe try to clog the middle by playing the Viper. Let's see how this goes. It's the Agent Venom version so i don't know if they run death they definitely run null so this just comes down to can i clog i think uh hood might be my best draw this game or this turn okay getting more energy that does not go middle unfortunately Aranya comes down, they get extra energy, and let's see what they do. Phoenix Force would resurrect the Nico or Selene. The Nico had a destroy spell active, so I would need to play Phoenix Force under armor. Now let's see though. Viper would be my only play here, so they would have to play something middle. They also haven't destroyed a lot. Yeah, so the Null is off the table. So I don't think I need to worry about Null. Sean, maybe they had Death in Hand on the opening turn and I YOLO Sean somewhere. There is the play middle. Carnage and Venom. So Venom is three, seven, and... Uh, da, 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 da. I think I just load up. I could deny them a draw. Two in hand. What is my most powerful play? Get up by a bunch here and Sean middle? I guess that's what I do. They do have a bunch of extra energy. Can that... Oh, perfect. Perfect. Even more negative power. Oh, is this a Zola? I don't even think Zola is enough. Yeah, Zola isn't enough with the Venom. There is Hood. I could also Sean Wright anticipating the Zola play, but I don't know why I would do that necessarily. Oh, uh, now they could play no left. And if I Zola, or if I Sean, that's possible. So we'll play it out and see. Because this Sean is about to make the Null grow. So they could try to anticipate that. What was that, two? And this could be the Null. Yeah, man, they got me. They got me. Power must be Nicely done. I did call that. <laughs> I did call it. That was that was nice and that was the correct play. 10 out of 10 times. I needed a full lane clogged. Now, now, with this deck, there is the last turn play of Sean into Grandmaster. That would have won this game if I had played Sean right and Grandmaster right. But with the information I had at the time, that just wasn't something I was thinking through, that they'd have a large enough carnage through the Agent Venom path and a large enough Venom. So they played this correctly, anticipating the, or hedging their bets, but also even without the Sean, the Null just was able to solo that lane. I drew Hood too late. Maybe I could have done the Hood Viper middle and hoped for the full clog, which would have happened. So there were ways that I could have pulled it out, but at the time, just not having the knowledge, 
And because this person might have recognized me, I will include it in the video. Okay, next up we have Ij. Mount Vesuvius. I think I play Nico into Grandmaster? On her times two, they don't have Killmonger. It's a Wiccan deck. Mount Vesuvius means the snap conditions are a little different. Do I get down Selene? Sure. Let's start our disruption. I'm getting her down right. That way I can target Grandmaster. Silver Sable. So is it Bounce Wiccan? Hit my Goblin? You did not. You hit my Misery. So let's do Hood into Grandmaster. I'm fine with either of these. And then I can Misery uh, undo. Maybe I don't want to do that. Or maybe I don't want a Misery. I don't know. We'll go Grandmaster Hood. That's what we will do. And then I will see if I want to Viper or Misery. Okay, just playing out the Red Guardian. There's a Goblin. So I could Viper left and misery right as well i can't misery right there's the big house <laughs> so maybe that's where i goblin is this bounce let's viper there is the wiccan but they don't get the bonus and i think i see this through Oh man, if I had 7 energy, I could play Misery. This is why Phoenix Force is in the deck, by the way. I could play Misery here, and then Phoenix Force that back. That is totally unexpected. But I wouldn't. I don't have another 2-cost card, so it will be a Demon and Phoenix? Maybe that's good enough. That might be good enough. That is the only card... Yeah, I haven't destroyed any cards. Huh... Or do I throw the goblin? Oh, misery. Oh, misery. And I'll hold on to the demon. I'm not snapping, of course, because I want to have a free snap condition. I do not have priority? Perfect. I don't have priority. What was Nico at? <laughs> Four, eight... So she'd go up to 16 if they have hazmat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Should have played the demon last turn. Because then I could have got more points with the daredevil. Am I confident enough to snap this? I'm playing them in this order since Nico. I think Nico triggers actually on the Phoenix Force, but just in case, I'll play a card afterwards. If they play Hazmat here, that gets to four. <laughs> Let's snap it up. They can't retreat. I like the position I'm in. I'm going to avoid the Ajax lane, even though it is tempting. They don't have extra energy. Perfect. Perfect. Avoided the Ajax path. Nico just blossoms up to, oh, even more. Okay, I cannot math. What subject you fail? Math. <laughs> but we just destroyed. Victory. Phoenix Force is totally optional in this deck. But you see the crea very creative applications of Phoenix Force. I really have her in the deck to have Black Widow go off three times. You Black Widow on turn three, 
you Misery the Black Widow on turn four, you Phoenix Force back the Black Widow on turn five, and just annoy the crap out of your opponent, deny them three consecutive draws. It's hilarious for me. <laughs> and But this is another application. The Nico double up. We get the demon down, right? The big house kind of restricts them. Nico left, still would have won. Man thing would have been minus two only. So yeah, Nico still solos that lane. That is ultimately why I snapped. I ran the math on the hazmat, just in case that's in my mind more likely. And we, because of that, I felt like we were well positioned. They could have done hazmat in another smaller card over here and we might have been in a little trouble. But with the demon in hand, I felt comfortable with a slim margin into the big house and Nico soloing one of the other two lanes. That's exactly what happened. Next up, we have Know Your Role. Strange Academy. Decent early hand, actually. Let's go Nico middle. I like her times two spell. So we will get her down while that is active. My opponent has a normal deck. Nothing to do this turn. I will get down Black Widow in all likelihood, depending on what this next location is, into Misery. And then if I can draw into Phoenix Force, that's what it'll be. Otherwise, it might be a Green Goblin. They are discard. So their avatar matches. And we get an extra turn with Limbo. So... Let us play Black Widow here. No. Black Widow here. Because stuff moving is fine by me. Which is probably... Ugh, no Grandmaster. And it hit their Apocalypse. Okay. We get down Misery, get that move targeted. Oh, it's not move because it's Grand. I was it's a lot of Grandmaster on my mind. So another. Oh, that Apocalypse is going to be beefy. Sixteen power. Can I remember? They were not able to get the Widow's bite, so they have to play another. Uh, they're gonna get clogged somewhere. So let's stop them from getting more points middle. Or do I... Well, Green Goblin's the same difference. So let's go Hood Viper. Okay, so they didn't draw, so they just have a 24 Apocalypse. Can I see a Sean? Move that Viper middle or hood middle. Can I get lucky with my card middle? I can. Okay, are they going to plug themselves? One and three. I badly want to snap. <laughs> I badly want to snap. I will just get a bunch of... Okay, there we go. We have clogged them right, and then I don't have a Sean. I have destroyed one, so eight points middle gets me to 25. Is that enough? Do they have another discard in them, like a Dracula maybe? I'm going to lose by one middle because I didn't draw Sean. Phoenix. Man, because I didn't draw Sean. An armor and a demon. Well, guess what? If it, they have priority, if it is a Dracula, it might hit the Widow's Kiss. Widow's Bite, I mean. So let's see what it... Oh, nice. 
pulled it out by a single digit. There we go. Fantastic. So I was actually able to put up a decent amount of points. That's rare for this deck. Get to 25. I actually did not need Sean, but I was afraid of what they might have. And one more discard just puts that Morbius over the top. So I wasn't quite comfortable enough. I really badly wanted to snap though, especially with the Green Goblin play before I made that. So looking back, that's probably the optimal time to snap. And going forward, I probably would take the risky snap on that. The reason I played Demon Left, of course, is in case it was a Dracula, we definitely went right. I give them a Widow's Bite. Dracula's a 30% chance or a 25% chance to hit the apocalypse. So we have a chance with the demon left. So that was my play pattern and I was able to pull it out. All right, so if you're looking for a different way to annoy your opponent, maybe force them into a rage quit. Unfortunately, I couldn't, <laughs> or fortunately for my opponent, I couldn't force them into a rage quit. Here's a different type of misery deck that you probably haven't seen. I have seen some versions with Phoenix Force. It's a little bit interesting. So that's why Phoenix Force is in this deck, because well, why not? But otherwise, this deck really is about clogging your opponent's side of the board in a different way. And you do that through Black Widow because they are now self-clogging themselves. Daredevil, of course, furthers that plan. You saw me use both Selene and Black Widow on the same turn. So I'll play Black Widow first and then into Selene. You saw me get power with Nico, even though there's no real power in this deck. So Shang-Chi is part of that power because you can take out your opponent's big cards. Nico, if she has her double up spell, she is also power, clearly you got to see. Hood and Viper, of course, is a classic combination. You have armor to fight back against destroy and also protect some of your cards if you end up putting in like a White Widow. So this deck has a bunch of different avenues you can take, junk up your opponent, and uh, just a different way to go about it. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. And of course, thank you to all the members of the channel. They are growing and I appreciate all of you. I love you 3,000. If you try out this deck, let me know how it goes for you. Until next time, want to drive your opponents crazy? This deck combines Black Widow's card draw denial with mil Want to draw your opponent's... Boy. Wake up. <laughs> or you can send the hood over to the opponent's side of the board with Hyper. Hyper?